Here come the Spartans into the zone with numbers right out in front and a good early save. Lebster couldn't corral the rebound. That number fell after last night. There's a giveaway in the defensive zone and a quick shot gobbled up by Trey Augustine. Michigan State dominated the faceoff category yesterday and off to a good start once again. Quick shot right out in front. Mueller couldn't put the rebound home and Thiesing. Get the Spartans some more opportunities when they fire pucks on net. Good things happen for this team. Geary keeps the line. Baskell snagged by Eberle. You can see Michigan State's just really hungry for that goal and kind of rushing a little. The patient's not exactly there yet, like you just said, Zach. And the Buckeyes keeping it composed. Now getting some more shots in, but. And Tia Wahlberg able to scoot it away. Push on the counter for the Buckeyes. Dunlap sent it off the pads of Augustine. Ohio State really brought it in that second period of play and Gavin O'Connell on his second goal of the night had it in the last 27 seconds of that second period. A lot of people thought that's where the Spartans were gonna get their spark back, kind of like in that first game against Minnesota, but they just couldn't find it last night, Zach. Keeping the Spartans from getting any opportunities. All the way out key blocks. Front. Savage almost had a chance with a breakaway. Couldn't keep that puck on it. A lot of space for Gildan. Right out in front, Augustine. Stuffs Guzzo, the puck's still loose and they'll wave it off as we went to that whistle. Hooking against Nash Neenhaus. But Michigan State with a man down. Had a good look. Buckeyes took advantage. Two power play goals yesterday. Looking to put it in front. But the backhand with no room to flourish as Augustine's there. Had a goal last night coming in and Augustine's gonna have that and get the glove down on quickly. Luckily, no Buckeyes. Looking for some room. Right out into the middle and Augustine got a glove on it and the rebound was high. One last shot on the power play, saved by Augustine again, and the Spartans are back to full strength. Under halfway through this first period, going down early is not what the Spartans want, especially after last night's results. Great save there by Augustine coming outside of the net. Yeah, Augustine, he just reads the ice so well and can always see where that puck is, see those situations as he gets another one right there, snagging it out of the air. Now the Buckeyes starting to get more comfortable in that Spartan zone, getting some more shots in on Augustine. Right back to Augustine and covered up once again. Wisconsin's who picked up that win in Wisconsin. The freshman hasn't seen too much time on the ice so far this season, but when he has, he's played excellent. Michigan native, Lebster tried to get a shot through. Thiesing ties him up. Strabak to that left side in the circle and a good look, but Burnside comes up with it. Shot from the points wide right. Carfagna cuts him off and slows the attack. Neenhaus right out in front. O'Connell had the deflection, but it went into the pad. For the start of the second period, it's been a tight one. Reed Lebster right at it and an early chance. Davidson. Into the zone and Geary waits for it. Absolutely, even when you're looking at the first and second teams in the nation, huge implications in terms of points if Penn State comes away with a win. A three goal advantage in large part due to a pair of power play goals and here's Mueller on a breakaway, denied. But you know, just a little he knew too his much destination. Speed. He was he was on target. Just the puck was not with him. The idea was there. Gave it up and got it back. Brecky gets it to Guzzo, short side, stuffed by Augustine. By Crossman. Davidson. To Mueller. Hit the post again. The Spartans unable to add another.